Hi, I'm Solomon Young from DudleyFitnessCenter.com and I'm going to show you a home band and bodyweight version of Lean Eating Phase 1. Remember, in this phase we want to set really good movement patterns. So by setting these good movement patterns, go bodyweight first, get those movements down, make sure you work in the right areas before we add the band or you can add a dumbbell. For a lady at this stage of the programming, probably 15 to 20 pound dumbbell is the good place to be, and for a gentleman, a 25 to 35 pound dumbbell. So we're going to look at the split squat. One of the best ways to do the split squat is actually by blocking your shin. Let me show you what I mean. So on a split squat, we're going for a staggered stance, hips nice and square. I want my knee to line up with my ankle and I want my knee to line up with my hip. The best way to do that is by putting my shin against the bench or a box. Pull your shoulders together. So as I come down, as the bar is going to kneel, I push through that front heel, squeeze the bone in top position, control it there. Now I want to keep tension on this bar. Put your hand on your bum, put your hand on your back. Control it there, squeeze the bum, squeeze the left. Control down, squeeze through. Do all your reps on one side, then do all your reps on the other. If you've got a really strong movement on this and you can do it well, we can add the band into the equation. We step on the band, put it under the instep. We're going to squat down, put the band around our shoulders, put it away from our neck, and then we're going to go split squat in the back. Goes around the shoulders. You want to get the hips nice and square, bend the elbows up high. Once you've got that position, you keep the toe, you lower the heel and the sole of the front foot, squeeze the bum, squeeze the bum, drive through and stand. Really squeeze those roots to stabilize. Control it down and back, pause, drive up strong. Your knee of the back leg does not have to touch the floor. You're going on a range of motion that's suitable for you. So from there, from the split squat, we're going to a three-point row. One of the best ways to do a three-point row with a band, put your knee onto a bench or a sturdy chair, put the band around your butt, around your foot, and double your band. We use a linked band, so we put our wrist through and then grip the band. That gets us around a lot of gripping issues. Hand goes on. Tuck the chin slightly, make sure we're not shrugging. It's as though I'm trying to pull my shoulder blade into my back pocket. So I squeeze my bum on this supporting leg. I pull my shoulder blade in towards my back pocket. I control it there. I stop when my shoulder blade starts moving. It doesn't matter how high the elbow goes. I only go as far as my shoulder blade moves down the back. Do not let your hips turn when you move this. You want to stay square over those hips by squeezing that bum. Do your reps on one side, then do your reps on the other. From there, we're going to go into an alternative to the thoracic extension. If you don't have a stability ball, thoracic extension is designed to mobilize your mid and upper back. So we're going to go with heels and bum close together, hand on the floor, other hand is at the side of the head. You inhale, looking towards the ceiling. And you exhale and tuck through. You want to keep the lower back neutral, nice and flat. If in any doubt, put your hand on your lower back. To keep it nice and flat. Once you're aware of it, you've got it nice and flat. You just mobilize the mid and upper back. Do all your reps on one side, then do all your reps on the other. The next three exercises we're going to look at, we're going to look at a hip raise with bent knees. We're going to look at a half kneeling chest press, which we saw in the first video. And we're going to look again at a half kneeling pull off hold, which we had in the first video. So once again, we're trying to cement in really good movement patterns, so repeating them is not going to be a problem. The hip raise. In the first video, we looked at the hip raise being like this, hips nice and square, squeezing the glutes, and progressing by doing single leg hip raises. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves level with our box or step or bench, put our heels onto the bench, 
knees are bent at 90 degrees. It's as though we've been sat in the chair and the chair's fallen over backwards. So we keep this bend. Now it's vitally important you keep this bend in the knees. Put your fingers onto your hip bones. Squeezing your bottom, lift your hips. Only come to level. Do not push right away through so you feel pain in your back. You control it down, brush the floor gently, squeeze your bum, raise your hips to level, control it down. If it's too difficult, go back to the floor version and then progress from there. If it's too easy, the first thing we do, we reduce the points of contact by raising our arms in the air. If that's too easy, we take our hand, we stretch it over our hips, pull our shoulder blades together, and make sure it sits on our hip bones, really squeezing our bum in the top position and controlling it down. We're then going to do the half kneeling press. As seen in the first video, the half kneeling press, securely mount the band. You want to be facing away from it. The knee goes on the floor, the hips are square, squeeze your bum, 90 degree angles. Add your knee with something if it makes it a little more comfortable. Start with the elbow close to the ribs, tall chest, press through, control it back. Press through. Do not turn at the hips. Do not collapse or shrug the shoulders. It's a nice strong pressing movement. Do all the reps on one side, then do all the reps on the other. You're then going to turn sideways onto your mountain pole for your half kneeling half hold. Hips are square, staying on the same thing, same cues, glutes squeezed, shoulders down, chin tucked slightly. Move to a position where you get a little bit of tension on the band. Pull the band into your chest, square up the hips, then push the band out in front of the body, lock everything down tight so you can feel the abdominals working, the glutes working to keep you in position. The band will try and pull you around. Don't let that happen. You're trying to be a beautiful straight line, no shrugging, straight on hips. Control it back, do the same on the other side. You'll probably need a lighter band for the half hold as you have for your chest muscles. Third group is the lateral lunge or lateral squat with an assisted to start with. From the lateral assisted, we're going to go into half kneeling row and then a pull down ISO. The assisted lateral, we want to have a nice wide feet. Have our feet like that on skis. Push your hips over and back. You're fully weighted in your heels. Your back is flat. From there, you control it up, over, back. Push your hips back, control it up. So at the minute I've got my hand into my lower back, keeping a nice neutral spine. If I need to regress this to make this a little easier, I find something that I can hold on to. Push over and back, load up my hips, my back is flat, my glutes are loaded, I'm going to push through my heels, go up to the top, over, back, push to the top. To progress this and make this more challenging, we actually can add a step. Only add a step if you can keep that neutral stride and you make sure that you're pushing through your heels. To add a step, we step over, push the hips back, neutral spine, drop up to the top, and do the same on the other side. Half kneeling row, same cues as a half kneeling press. We're going to step back so we have some tension on our band. We're going to kneel down. If I'm using my left arm, my left leg is kneeling. My hips are square. Squeezing my bum on my right leg, shoulders are down, chin is tucked, hand is out to the side. I'm going to pull my shoulder leg down and back like I have my other row. Squeezing, control this back. Squeeze, control it back. It doesn't matter how far back your elbow goes, you're trying to move that shoulder blade down and back. Do equal reps on both sides of the body. Final one is the lap pull ISO. This is as described in the workout. You place your band up somewhere nice and high. You're going to start with straight arms. Imagine it's like a plane. Tighten up your legs. 
Squeeze your bum, neutral spine, shoulders down, chin up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pulling it down and hold it tight. Try to keep your arms away from your body. Brace your abdominals hard. That is like you're trying to stop the mid or like a Kegel exercise that keeps your spine in neutral. Don't stick your bum out and arch. You want to stay neutral. You hold that for the amount of time, and that's the icing. 